I started my ED shift today with a six-month-old infant whose mother indicated that the baby has been very sleepy and seems not right over the last several hours. In triage, I identify lethargy in the child. To obtain a list of possible causes for the lethargy, I consult the Dynamic Health Pediatric Lethargy Topic. I take the child's medical history from the mother and ask about birth history, developmental milestones, immunization status, organ-specific symptoms, intake and output, and recent illness or injury, among other things. The mother shares that the baby just started with a new daycare provider and has not been eating or drinking in addition to being lethargic. At this point, I begin my physical assessment with auscultation of lung sounds. The baby continues to be lethargic and has a slight fever and runny nose. I insert an IV and the physician completes further diagnostics and examinations. Today, I'm also percepting a new nurse resident. As part of orientation, the nurse in training is required to be checked off on certain skills. I ask her to perform a respiratory assessment and auscultate lung sounds on my lethargic infant patient. To prepare, she accesses the auscultate lung sound skill in Dynamic Health, reviews the content, watches the video, and prints the checklist steps. She then performs the lung assessment with my oversight and does a wonderful job. I sign the evaluation checklist for the nurse resident and continue to care for the baby. The physician orders a test for respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. RSV is a common, highly contagious virus and the most common cause of severe acute respiratory tract infection in children under two years old. I haven't performed a nasopharyngeal swab since last RSV season, so I turn to Dynamic Health to review specifics and steps for testing. Once completed, I perform the swab to obtain a sample for the RSV test and send it off to the lab for analysis. The child's test confirms RSV, so I want to brush up on the most recent evidence and care interventions for the condition. Dynamic Health has a great topic on RSV, and I dig into the most common potential complications, which include hypoxia or hypoxemia, fever, and dehydration. My assessment findings indicate the infant has a fever and is having signs of respiratory distress. I provide fever reduction interventions, apply oxygen via a face mask, and begin IV hydration. As a teachable moment, my nurse resident and I review the oxygen administration and fever reduction skills in dynamic health. At this time, my nurse resident also reviews the care interventions and RSV disease slash condition overview topic for discussion later while we review the infant's chart. Unfortunately, the child's condition worsens so I prepare the patient and family for transfer to the pediatric unit for inpatient observation and care. Throughout this shift, Dynamic Health has been my trusted advisor providing evidence-based best practices, resources to strengthen both my nurse residents and my own skills, and reliable information to deliver the best care possible for my young patient and their family.